Hi, I'm Kenny Bernardini and welcome to Smithtown Report. I'm here at the Smithtown Planning Department and today we will learn about the Long Island Green Homes program available to consumers here in the town of Smithtown. Long Island Green Homes is a collaborative effort between the town of Smithtown and other municipalities on Long Island. NYSERDA, PSE&G Long Island, and National Grid. The program is designed to provide Long Islanders an opportunity to significantly reduce energy costs and save energy by identifying where your home is wasting the most energy and providing financing and rebates to help pay for making the recommended energy efficiency improvements to your home. We talked to a few homeowners in Smithtown that have gone through the entire Green Homes Energy Assessment Program. They told us about the process from filling out the applications and rebate forms to choosing a contractor. They also talked about the energy and safety measures they did in making their homes more comfortable in the cold and warm months. The savings on their energy bills and the added resale value to their homes was substantial. I think I wanted to do it for a number of reasons. Uh, at the time, uh, fuel was very expensive. I was looking to see whether I could save something. And uh, also, um, it, it just seemed like a good idea, all right? The fact that there was a no-cost audit to tell you what, if anything, was wrong with the house seemed like a, you know, a no-lose proposition. So I did that. The fellows came. They did this audit of the house, examined uh, all the things that uh, they could do or should do to make the house a little tighter, a little more energy efficient. And from there, I decided that what they proposed in general made a lot of sense, and I went forward with, the, uh, with that uh, part of the operation. Actually, the way I found out about it was the library bulletin. The uh, bulletin that the uh, Smithtown Library put out, they said that they were going to have a presentation and from some of the uh, green energy uh, companies. They were going to talk about uh, conservation, what they could do uh, to help you out and what the whole order program involved. And so I went to the presentation and uh, based on that presentation, I decided to sign up for the initial audit to see what, if anything, could be done. There were a number of things that went on at the same time. At the same time that I was having the energy audit done and the, and the various upgrades to the house, I had an old oil burner system in the house and I had to replace that because the fuel tank was on the verge of leaking. So I replaced an old inefficient heating system with a brand new uh, gas system. So that probably saved me something. Uh, what the uh, green water people did, as you can see, they wrapped all the pipes, insulated all the pipes to uh, uh, protect the heat, and they put uh, uh, foam insulation all along the sill plate that uh, blocks stress from coming in along the sill plate. The end result down here is that it seems to be uh, significantly less drafts and, and much warmer than it used to be. There's no heating down here, and uh, it's just a comfortable place now in the winter. Okay, well, the two things they did here. The first thing they did with the skylight was you can see there's a big opening from the skylight going up to the roof. What they wrapped that in is, and, and insulated all the way around to cut down the heat loss with that. And right in front of it, just to the right, you see that's a, an exhaust pipe from the uh, microwave oven that was uh, bringing cold air in. That's the way they insulated those two items up here. The flooring up here, I had originally had uh, various doors, old piece of plywood, miscellaneous junk essentially, acting as a floor so that I could get back to the uh, central air conditioning air handler in the back. What they did was they ripped all that up and they put uh, permanent flooring in down. You can see that there. The next thing they did was they uh, built this wall alongside that flooring so that when they blew the uh, insulation in, the insulation remained in place. Then what they did was they uh, blew all in, I believe they blew in, it was, uh, I think it was nine inches of insulation, six or nine inches of insulation, I think it was nine, of this uh, loose uh, cellulite uh, foam type insulation that they blew into the, into the attic. There was a two-part process to my thing. One was because I had central air in the house, someone from LIPA came and they sealed all the air ducts, no charge, and they replaced all the bulbs in the house with uh, CFLs, fluorescent bulbs. So uh, for no charge, I got a lot of stuff free. Off the top of my head, I'd say probably the biggest savings would be the, the insulation in the attic, because they put so much up in there that uh, I have to believe that saves a lot. 
The company that ended up doing the work for me was uh, an outfit called uh, Green Audit USA. I believe they're in Orlando, and I was just super pleased with that with the work they did. I was very impressed with the, uh, the quality of the work. They came, they did what they said they were going to do. They did it on a timely basis. They were exceptionally neat, exceptionally helpful and informative. I was, I was just very pleased with the whole operation. But the fact that you get an analysis of your house at no cost is very impressive. It tells you what, if anything, is, going to, is costing you money and what can be done to save it. But at the time, there were some very nice rebates and grants, both from the state and uh, from LIPA, from National Grid, whoever it was, that reduced the, uh, the cost of the work significantly. As a result of the various grants, rebates, tax credits, uh, whatever I got, whether it was from uh, New York State, or from uh, National Grid, LIPA, or from the federal government as a tax grant, it probably reduced the cost of the uh, initial estimate of the work done by about uh, two thirds. I ended up, uh, the out of pocket cost ended up to be about one third of what the initial, you know, uh, non rebate cost would have been. So it was significant savings as a result of various grants and rebates. A, a no cost analysis with no pressure is hard to beat, it really is. I got some significant rebates from the government for the gas uh, installation because the furnace was super efficient. Started work, they pointed out to me that I had two bathroom vents that had been co-joined into one. That was not according to code. So no extra cost, I don't know what it ended up costing them, but they uh, vented each bathroom separately and uh, so now I have two vents, not just one. Friends, I've recommended it to uh, uh, people I know, I've recommended it to my, to my family that this is something that, that should be done. At the very least, you're going to get a no-cost analysis of what can be done to make your house more energy efficient. And that's just super. But it seemed to me that when you got all done, you got an awful lot of work, good work, good stuff, done for a very reasonable uh, price. And then in the end, they give you a certificate that says you have an energy efficient house that, you know, has got to be the selling point if and when you decide to ever sell a house. I was impressed with the quality of the work. I was impressed with the people that I dealt with initially to do the audit, who made the presentation, what can be saved. I, I was just impressed. It seemed to me that at the very least, getting the analysis is a, it's a no cost thing. It's just a win-win situation. And uh, by the time you got finished with all the grants and rebates, it seemed I got an awful lot of work done for a very, very reasonable price. It's kind of an investment it is because what it's done is shown I've upgraded the house and made it cheaper to run in the long run. So not only is it good for me, but it's good for whoever comes in after me. For more information on the Long Island Green Homes program in the town of Smithtown, visit www.longislandgreenhomes.org or you can call 1-800-567-2850. For Smithtown Report, I'm Kenny Bernardini, and remember, go green, Smithtown.